It is a problem that many university leaders are scrambling to find the answer to lower enrollment in higher education. This trend is happening across the country and Michigan is no different. Our Max Goldwasser joins us live in the studio tonight with an in-depth look at the numbers for us tonight. Max. Yeah, guys, you might be thinking that this is something to do with the pandemic, right? People choosing a different career path, taking a non-traditional route. But this is a trend that started well before the pandemic. We're going to take a look at the numbers from the Michigan Association of State Universities. This is from 2012 to 2021. And just look at the decline here from most of these universities. 15 are on the list and only three of them saw an upward tra uh, trajectory. That's Michigan State in the green, Michigan in the yellow here, and then Michigan Tech that's in the black there. Everyone else is going the other direction. And two of the universities with the biggest enrollment declines, Western Michigan and Central Michigan. WMU, you see it right here, a 24% decrease in the last 10 years for enrollment. And then Central Michigan University, 44.5% decrease, the largest in the state. In fact, a group of CMU students co-authored a letter in the campus newspaper saying that they are worried the university won't even be around in the next 10 years. CMU already had to shut down four residence halls for the next semester and the school's vice president of student recruitment and retention said CMU failed to make any changes even after after they recognized the trend. People were a little complacent in thinking that, oh, it'll turn around next year and this is just a small decline. Oh, next year would be better. And then before you know it, you have five years, six years, 10 years worth of decline. Added the statement to Fox 17 that outlined some of the short and the long term plans to reverse that narrative. Some of the plans include training admission staff on how to approach recruiting conversations from a sales and marketing approach, implementing accountability metrics and setting specific weekly goals for the number of deposits by prospective undergraduate students and reinstating our student call center for peer to peer conversations with prospective undergraduate students, among some of the other things. And you can find her full statement right now on Fox 17 online. Com. Meantime, while this is all happening at universities, the opposite trend can be seen at community colleges in the area. I mean, check out the stark difference here. GRCC, Grand Rapids Community College, a 4.4% increase from fall 2020 to fall of 2021. And then Kalamazoo Valley Community College with a remarkable 49.6% uh, increase in that same window. It's pretty impressive there. And I did reach out to staff at KVCC to learn more about that trend. Didn't hear back from them, but in a story we did back in September with GRCC, officials there told us that they credit the jump to lower tuition costs thanks to state and local programs.